Y'all gonna have to stand up. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, if you're gonna be a part of the body of Christ, stand up and give God a standing ovation. Now, if you're gonna be a part uh, of the deity of the man and woman of God, you got to open your mouth uh, and let the Lord know, uh, Lord, I thank you uh, just for the very air I breathe. Uh, thank you that I was able to get up out of my bed. Uh, thank you I put my own clothes on. We stop too soon. And the Lord keep telling us that we are members one of another. Too many folks want to be up here and don't realize he's the only one up here. The rest of us are just a part of the body. I'm not going to tell my legs I don't need you. I'm not going to tell my arms I don't need you. But when I come into God's house, I need God to take over me. I need God to let that which he said uh, would glorify him come through me. We sing, we worship. And then when it's time to really let God know, Lord, I believe the report. I believe what was written. I, I understand that it's not about me. I, I understand that one day I, I open my mouth I, and I confess you as Lord of my life. Then we act like after that, we don't know who we are. He said that which is spirit Got to connect with the spirit. Sit down, y'all. See how long y'all stood up? Just because I asked you to stand up. That's what he asked you to do. He said, if you tell them that I sent you, we become so caught up in who is who, and we forget that we are all one in the body of Christ. We forget that we all have the same spirit uh, in the body of Christ. Uh, we forget that God has given us power over all works of the enemy. Uh, and yet we act like we need this and we need that and we need the other. And the Lord said, all you need to do is tell me what I say. If I wake up and my arm hurting, do I tell my arm I'm going to leave you home today? No, my arm going with everybody else in my body. So why do we wake up and we forget to say good morning, Holy Spirit? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for bearing witness with my spirit. Uh, thank you for raising me up. Uh, thank you for delivering me from the powers of darkness. Uh, thank you that the Lord chose me. I didn't, I didn't choose him. He chose me. Uh, Jeremiah was complaining because God told him to go tell the people uh, what he said. And he said, ah, I can't do it. And he said, Jeremiah before you were even formed in your mother's womb. I knew you. We act like we don't have no power. Or oh, this one is not here, so, you know, I just don't feel it. Well, he's here. And he said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I will be with you always. But we don't even talk to him. You don't talk to your leg when it don't want to act right. You don't want to talk to your head when it acts like it's about to fall off. You don't want to talk to your heart when it's acting like it's skipping a beat. You talk to your body. Why not talk to the king of the body? Why not tell him what he said? 
So many times we say, well, I, 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 don't, I don't know how to, to do that. Yes, you do. When I was in the world, I didn't have to have no manuscript to tell me how to act a fool. I was acting a fool because that's what I did. Now, why in the world have I come on this side and I act like I don't know that the king of glory kept me when I couldn't keep myself? I, I act like I don't be, I don't understand that it was him that delivered me uh, from the muck in the mire. It was him that brought me out uh, so that I might tell somebody, uh, come and see what great things the Lord has done in me. Folk don't have no problem remembering you when you was who you were. Now you come over here and don't nobody know even that you've been born again. Well, praise the Lord, brother. You keep that. The devil ain't even scared of you. But the Bible says that you can come boldly to the throne. You can't come boldly if you're not his. You can't come boldly if you don't know that he said no evil shall come nigh your dwelling. No weapon formed against you is going to prosper. You can't come near his dwelling if you don't understand that he has authorized you to go and do what he said he did when he came and offered himself in your place. He didn't have to come. He said it's written of me that I'm going to go to do the will of my father who sent me and we always looking around and God said why you can't go tell him well Lord I, I, I don't know I just I, I, I can't do it like that yes you can because the Holy Spirit is here to bear witness with your spirit He's not here to bear witness with your head. He's not here to bear witness with your arms. He's not here to bear witness with your feet. He's bearing witness with the spirit of God that is in you when you said, I believe that God raised Jesus from the dead and therefore I know I'm saved. And if I'm saved, then I'm saved to sin no more. If I'm Say that. Then he said, wait until you receive power from on high uh, so that you can go and be witnesses uh, of me in the uttermost parts of the earth. Uh, we don't even want to tell nobody next door uh, about this Jesus uh, that we say we got born again. Well, you know, brother, so-and-so ain't here. Yeah, but you are. Well, sister, so-and-so, it just don't feel right. Well, it's not based on your feelings. It's based on what you believe. The Bible says that out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. If I had to take this Bible everywhere I go and don't know when I'm going to have to fight and don't want to know when I'm going to have to put up and shut up, I'm going to be in trouble because the Bible don't go everywhere that I go, but the Holy Spirit do. And he said, study to show yourself approved. A workman that needed not to be ashamed, uh, rightly dividing the word of truth. Uh, I got the truth uh, because the truth is in me. Uh, I don't have to worry about if my wife don't show up. Uh, I don't have to worry about if my children don't show up because I got them covered uh, by the blood of Jesus. We worry about who not here. Well, I wonder what's wrong. Why something got to be wrong? Maybe God trying to get your attention. Maybe God's trying to get you to refocus and understand that he has authorized you, that he has given you the power. He said he gave more honor to the weaker vessels, and we act like we don't even know that we are the weaker vessels. I see God, and I see him in me because I know I'm not who I used to be. But every day that I wake up, I got 
got to take this uh, and I got to feed it to this new man because the word is a lamp unto my feet uh, and a light unto my pathway. Uh, the word I'd hid in my heart so that I don't sin against him. We're echoing. We're not going nowhere. And he said, when you see earthquakes in diverse places, when you see pestilence, he said, know that the end is nigh, even at the door. And we still don't want to tell nobody that the Lord saved me one day. The Lord raised me up. We're still talking about the way it used to be and the way I used to be. That person is supposed to be dead. That person is supposed to no longer exist. But if I don't kill him every day, Paul said, there's a war going on in me. When I desire to do good, evil is present in me. We want to blame the neighbors and we want to blame the children. Uh, but it's just me uh, that I've got a war going on uh, because the new me uh, don't want to go with the old me uh, and the old me don't want to yield to the new me uh, and God said you can't have them both. He said except you deny your own self. We always look at the cross but when are we going to be a cross? that somebody who's lost will hear him in me. Somebody who knows that they should have died, but the Lord chose them. They should have been buried uh, and no, no, no opportunity uh, for heaven uh, and all of its glory. Uh, if you thought what they showed you in the beginning uh, was awesome, uh, that can't even compare uh, to what my father has in store uh, for those that love him, uh, for those that honor him, uh, for those that lift him up, uh, for those that call him their daddy. Uh, he said there's a mansion over in glory. Uh, that's got your name on uh, the streets that you gonna walk on uh, are like pure gold. Uh, there ain't gonna be no more sickness. Uh, there ain't gonna be no more darkness. Uh, and we're trying to stay here uh, when we ought to be trying to leave here. Amen. This is going back to the dust because the first Adam messed this up. But Jesus came. And he said, I come that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly. We still want what we want and not what God wants. We still want to do what we think and not what God thinks. The Lord said uh, that he sent 70 of them out. And he told him, he said, don't go from house to house. You know, we talking about going knock on folk doors, huh? and we ain't save ourselves. Huh? And something meet you at the door that you ain't equipped to handle. Huh? And they be like them seven sons of Sepha huh? running down the street huh? because you didn't get no power huh? before you went out there trying to tell somebody else huh? what the Lord has done for you. Huh? You didn't get no power huh? to go out there and tell them in the name of Jesus, Satan. I, I bind you and everything about you in the name of Jesus. I, I have authority I, because it's been given to me. We don't, we, we, we don't tell nobody nothing. We come to church and we leave. We come to church and we leave. We come to church and we leave. And the Lord said, I told you to forsake not the assembling of coming together as some have and they've erred from the salvation. And everybody that's missing, we supposed to be praying for them. 
because you see it could be you uh, that thought you was the one uh, it could be you that you thought uh, no nah, the Lord called me no nah, the Lord called all of us uh, and he asked us uh, to humble ourselves uh, he asked us to deny ourselves and we still think uh, that somebody ought to recognize uh, that I'm anointed somebody ought to recognize uh, that there's something strange about me uh, somebody ought to recognize uh, that Jesus delivered me uh, from the muck in the mouth uh, and brought me out uh, not for my glory but for his glory uh, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ uh, for it is the power of salvation to all those that believe we want to know what's wrong we were wrong we trying to get it politically correct that don't work over here you better get it God correct you better you, you better know that God said that I gave my son in your place you mean to tell me you can't give yourself in his place you mean to tell me you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ uh, and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and after that, well, you know, that, that ain't my call. So I'm going to just sit down and I'm going to wait on heaven. And heaven doesn't come and heaven doesn't win and heaven doesn't come and heaven doesn't win. And folks still going up and God still coming down and folks still going up and God still coming down and God keep asking you when are you going to realize that this is not your home this is just a temporary dwelling this is just a pass through you got to leave here and whether you spend eternity in the kingdom or eternity in damnation is your choice he said choose you this day uh, whom you gonna serve uh, as for me and my house uh, we got to serve the Lord uh, why we got to serve the Lord uh, because when I should have died uh, with no hope uh, when I should have died uh, with no way out uh, God reached down uh, and kept me uh, and delivered me out of my cell and they said well he don't sound like he used to do not the same person. Not the same person. Well, he don't act like he used to. Not the same person. We got to change. The Holy Spirit is here to help us. But until we say, Lord, have your way, until we say, I'm not the eye, I'm not the ear, I'm not the arm, I'm not the leg, I'm not the feet. But, Lord, I'm in your body. Use me any kind of way. You need to use me. Take whatever I got in me uh, and use it for your glory. Uh, sometimes we got to see the word, uh, but the word is you. Uh, the word is that you still here. Uh, the word is a lamp unto your feet. Uh, if nobody else knows that the Lord is your shepherd, uh, you ought to know that the Lord is your shepherd, uh, and you don't have to want for nothing. Uh, if you don't know that the Lord said, oh, taste the Lord uh, and see and know that the Lord is good, uh, and he's worthy uh, of all your praise. Uh, if you don't know that he said, uh, when your enemies and even your foes uh, came up on you, they eat up your flesh. Uh, he said they stumbled and fell because he had hidden you. And they were the substance. We the real deal. They were talking about what was coming. We are what's here. The only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. The disciples came back. Chris, I know we didn't put nothing up there. That's all right. And they, they was rejoicing. I want you to go to Luke, the 10th chapter. He done sent them out. And they come back shouting, oh, the demons are subject to us. Oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. Oh. And Jesus said, <laughs> you boys don't even understand. 
Behold, I saw Satan falling like lightning from the sky. He said, don't rejoice that the demons are subject to you. Huh? I need you to rejoice uh, that your names uh, have been written uh, in the Lamb's book of life. Uh, I need you to understand uh, that it's not about your eye. Uh, it's not about your arm. It's not about your leg. Uh, it's about Jesus in you, uh, the hope of glory, uh, the only begotten of the Father. He said, if you go, uh, I'll go with you, uh, and I'll make your crooked places straight. I'll cause the lion and the lamb to lay down together. And we act like, well, brother, that sounds good. Oh, no. That's the book. He said, I have given you all power over all works of the enemy. All works of the enemy. We still trying to stay here and God trying to get us to leave here. How many of us know what it's like to have a home that you ain't got to pay no mortgage? To have a home that you don't have to pay no light bill? To have a home that you ain't got to worry about where the water coming from? To have a home uh, where you ain't got to worry about the neighbor next door not liking the way you praising God. Uh, to have a home uh, where you walk outside uh, and the streets uh, are like pure gold. Uh, because John could only describe what he couldn't describe. Uh, and so he said the streets uh, to me are like pure gold. Uh, so it was something more awesome than that. Uh, and yet we still don't. I don't want to leave here. Still trying to get us a position. Still think that no, the Lord called me. No, the Lord called all of us. And he said when the whole body come together and we get on one accord, you see, we, 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 we can't get to where God is until we get rid of us. We can't get to where God is until we let go of us. We still want to know, well, why did this happen? And, and why did that happen? And the Lord said, all things uh, work together for good uh, to them that love the Lord, uh, to them that are called according to his purpose. Uh, Sometimes God got to move somebody else uh, to make you stand up uh, and say, God, I'm available. Uh, Sometimes God got to shut down something else uh, for you to realize God didn't bring you out for you to just sit on the wall and act like it's all good. Uh, but he brought you out huh, so that you could go tell somebody, huh, I've been authorized huh, by the king of glory huh, to tell you there is a way huh, that seemed right, huh, but at the end thereof huh, is the way of destruction. Huh. Come, let me tell you about a man huh, who still said he had this free. Amen. Let me tell you about a man that's still giving sight to the blind. Paul said in Ephesians, he said, let me tell y'all something. He said, by grace are you saved. Not of works. Not of works. Not of works. Lest any of y'all start a boasting. It's God's grace. It's God's favor. It's God's love in you. 
that keeps you going the way God wants you to go. Because he said, don't lean on your own understanding, but in all your ways, I want you to acknowledge me, and I'm going to direct your path. I told Sister Kathy to come on, and she's still looking at me. But you see, I don't take all day to tell you what God got to say. I ain't got no notes. I ain't got no one count, two count, three counts. All I got is the word, and the word is all I got to give you. And the Bible says the word will not return void, but he will accomplish what he sent it out to do. Isaiah 55 says, no word from God will return void, but it'll accomplish what he sent it out to do. You sending any word out? You letting God know you believe? That's all he asked you to do. He said, I need you to go, and I need you to tell them that time is almost up. I need you to tell them that I've got a crown with your name on it. I got a new name in glory. It won't be Jacob. It'll be something else. My name change. My body change. I'm taking off this mortal and I'm putting on immortality. I'm taking off this corruptible and I'm putting on incorruptible. I got new feet. Uh, that's covered by the gospel of Jesus Christ uh, and I'm on my way home uh, because this is not my place uh, I got a major and he got my name on it he said work while it's day cause night's coming why are we still looking he said I need you to go I don't need you to take no thought about what you're going to say because it's going to be given to you. What about you? You trust God? When we trust man, he just break our heart and break our pocketbook too and just be done told us a lie. And then God said, I can't lie and I don't change. What I promised you, I've already given it to you. I gave it to you in the beginning. I gave it to you before you arrived. I gave it to you before you called my name. Because before the Bible says anything happened, the word said when it's time, I'll go in sinful flesh and I'll take man's place and I'll restore the relationship that you have with Adam. And Adam messed up and didn't want to fess up, I'll go and I'll take on sinful flesh and then I'll offer myself that whosoever believeth in me shall not perish but shall have everlasting life. My brother was talking about how he talked to the Lord about holding the rain so he could cut his grass. I be talking to the Lord about canceling every debt that I owe because I don't owe nobody nothing but to love. He said, I've given you, I've given you everything pertaining to life and godliness in this present world with tribulation. We just don't let God do what God do. He said, out of the mouths of babes, I have perfected praise. I'm trying to shut this thing down, but it's still running out. So God be the glory. For the things that he is doing, it's not none of me, it's him in me, it won't stop. He said, well, you open your mouth and let me fill it with good things. When I hurt, he hurt. When I'm hurting, he hurt. Because he said, I can feel what you feel. And I'm sitting at my father's right hand, telling them, Father, I know what they're going through. How many times we raise our hand and say, Lord, thank you. Thank you that you found me worthy to suffer shame in your name. God bless you.